himself LMU Volleyball, think of 5'10 senior from Casper, Wyoming, number 11, Caitlin Dewey. <laughs> LMU's women's volleyball team is doing better than ever. For the second time in three years, they have made it to the NCAA tournament. Even though they never made it past the first round, the honor to be there is only given to 64 teams in the United States. Still, LMU students don't seem to know much about their success. I talked with senior Caitlin Dewitt about what it is like to be a women's volleyball player. She shared her story of how she persevered through the spikes and dives of being an LMU athlete. It's a story of sacrifices, of overcoming setbacks, of achieving success. On campus, she's known as Caitlin, but in the locker room, they call her mama. Just because uh, I take care of people, I guess. I bake for them, I don't know, qualifies me as mom. <laughs> so. Caitlin was born hundreds of miles away from Los Angeles in Casper, Wyoming, known for its crude oil economy and cowboy culture. As a little girl, Caitlin's parents inspired her passion for volleyball. She tried soccer, basketball, swimming, and even taekwondo. But it wasn't long before she realized volleyball was in her blood. Well, my parents were both coaches when I was younger, and my mom and dad both played as well. My mom actually played professional grass volleyball for a little while, and then my dad just played in college. I got to a point where I realized that you get more kills in a volleyball game than you get goals in a soccer game, so it was more rewarding. <laughs> it's a better turnover. As Caitlin grew up and focused on her volleyball career, it was her mom that first realized that Caitlin's passion was bigger than what Wyoming could offer. My parents had just gotten divorced uh, when I was in eighth grade, and then my mom kind of saw the opportunity for my brother and I to be moved out to California for uh, more opportunities. Volleyball was Caitlin's saving grace. It was the gateway to an opportunity of a lifetime. Getting a Division I scholarship was obviously really important um, just because my family financially wouldn't be able to support me going to college any other way. So Caitlin found herself at Leola Marymount University, playing on a team of fierce girls that have become her extended family. But since she's been here, her path has not been an easy one. Over the past two years, she's fought injuries that have kept her off the court and her career in limbo. I sprained my ankle three and a half weeks ago playing against Santa Clara, like right there. <laughs> I tore three ligaments and I split one of my tendons in half. So I'll have to get surgery on it in December. It's, it's tough coming back onto the court and not being able to physically do the same things that you're once able to do. And so it's a lot of mental work coming back. Physical, I mean, you obviously have to get yourself strong, but I think that's pretty easy to get to the weight room and get strong again. It's one thing to gain your confidence back and then not be afraid to go up for a block or go up to hit or dive for something because you previously had that injury and it sometimes it haunts me. I mean, I've definitely had nightmares about I wake myself up spraining my ankle and that's terrifying. <laughs> but uh, you just kind of kind of get over it and it's it helps to be in the moment, you know, just be happy that I do get to play that I got to finish out this season playing. But Caitlin hasn't had to look far for her support system. The girls that have had her back on the court have ended up being her closest friends. A couple weeks ago, we actually went to a sushi bar and all did karaoke together one night. <laughs> I'm a terrible singer, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> We've kind of stuck through a lot of tough times together, and the team we have now is just phenomenal. We've done a lot of work to get close to each other and become a family, and I love that about it. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade any of them for anything, ever. But Caitlin says she is close with the entire athletic community. They are supportive and go to each other's games. Honestly, most of our fans are other athletes. We get a lot of women's basketball out to our games. They're here like every single time. But Caitlin says she's often playing to empty bleachers. When it comes to the rest of the LMU community, she doesn't feel much support. I don't think they see it as like a big deal to support us. You know, I feel like a lot of it is that people don't know how well our athletic teams are doing, especially because if men's basketball isn't doing well, it kind of trickles down to other sports. People also don't know when we have games. It's like inconvenient timing or something, I don't know. Thirsty Thursday, like people know no one wants to come to our games. Like go to the loft, then come to our game. 
When LMU launched a program to encourage students to show up to athletic games, Caitlin noticed a dramatic change in turnout. It seems like the more free things are given out, the more people show up. <laughs> but if you're going to sit there, I guarantee you're going to fall in love with watching your game. I think it's more entertaining than other sports, honestly. Caitlin wishes other people shared the passion she has for volleyball. She won't easily forget what she has learned from the game she's grown up with, that was passed down through her family, and that she now shares with her closest friends. Volleyball has taught me that it's okay to fail. My coach is very keen on teaching us about learning and how to learn and using your frustration to kind of help you instead of hurt you. And it, it's just bled out into other parts of my life. Instead of getting angry at a professor for giving me a bad grade on a paper, I really want to problem solve and figure out why I did bad and then do better the next time. And it, it's the same thing with like relationships. If I see a conflict in something, significant other, my parents, my brother, I want to sit down and figure it out with them because if I care about it, then I want to put the time and effort into it. With graduation just around the corner, Caitlin is nearing the end to her career as a college athlete. As for her future, she plans to travel overseas to keep on playing the sports that she loves. That's it from us here at Behind the Scoreboard. Tune in next time to hear another story of an LMU athlete.